Hi, this is Mike Sigelski, sales manager with Fordham Electric, back with you. And I'd like to go over today our brushless micromotor, the 1050. The basic 1050 brushless micromotor kit comes with a control box, power cord, handpiece, handpiece cradle, and foot pedal. You also get a cradle that mounts to the side of the control box, and the control box also has a magnetic strip for your burrs to hang on to. Let's start with the control box. Let's start on the back. You've got a place over here where the foot pedal plugs in, the power cord, and the handpiece. And then all the specifics, the voltage, everything is right here uh, on the back plate. On the front, you've got another port for a brush type motor. This is a dual handpiece control box. So you can use a brushless and one with brushes. You've got an on-off switch here and you also have the speed control and various other controls here we'll go over. Let me plug it in, we'll see how it goes. Well, now you can hear it's motorized. Let's plug in the foot pedal. There's a dimple on it. Just plug that in with a dimple towards the top. And the handpiece also has a dimple on the top and a notch. Put that on the top, and then you screw that in for a firm, nice connection. Turn it around, and we'll get into this here. The first thing you're going to notice with the front is the digital speed control. That's in thousands of RPM. It goes from 1,000 RPM all the way on up to 50,000 RPM. That's when it's in plugged in for port B, which is the brushless handpiece. When it's for port A for brush type handpieces, which we'll go over in a minute, it shows a full speed of 35,000 RPM. However, it, what it does is it goes up to the maximum speed that your handpiece will allow. You have forward or reverse, hand or foot operation, you have port A or port B, which is one type of handpiece versus the other. And then you have an on-off and a cruise control. Let's show you how this works. First, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your burr, in this case it's a test burr, is secure in the collet and that the collet is tightened down. These handpieces have got an S for secure and an R for release. And there's a little notch in the middle. And you'll see on the silver bar here a little picture or a little arrow there. In the middle, both the spindle and the collet are locked. That's a nice feature to have in case you've got like a screw mandrel and you want to unscrew the top of the mandrel and change it. Nothing's going to move once it's like that. And the R releases the collet and opens it up so you can remove the burr. Put that back down there, go all the way over, and now we're locked. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Make sure the power is on. I have it in hand and in forward and in port B, which is orange in color. Turn it on here, and now it's doing the speed. It starts at 1,000 RPM, and I'm working my way all the way up to 50,000 RPM. You can hear it. It's very powerful. Brushless micromotor design gives you more power for the same size the motor. The nice thing is they're sealed, there's no vent ports, so you have a lot less maintenance. You don't have any problems with dust getting in, wearing out the bearings and the collets. The other thing is if you do stone carving and you're using water, you can slip a baggie over this, poke the burr through a baggie, and you're not starving the thing for air or anything else or cooling. So if I let me show you how the auto cruise control works. I'll turn it off, bring it down, turn on the foot control. Now that I've got on the foot control, I'm going to select the speed further up, say uh, all the way up to, well, tell you what, why don't we do 30,000 RPM? Turn it on, okay, with that button there, and now when I press down the foot, it starts. 
you can go all the way up to that one speed that you set. If you hold the button down, your speed down with the foot pedal steady for a couple of seconds, you'll hear a beep, and that means the cruise control is engaged. I can take my foot off now and it still runs at that speed. To get it to stop, you just touch the foot pedal and it stops. The nice thing about running in foot pedal mode is, is that you can set a speed. So if you're using some type of an accessory like a rubber mounted wheel, you're gonna break that mandrel in that rubber wheel if you go up to 50,000 RPM. They're not designed for that speed. But you can set a safe speed with this at that speed and use it all day long. And you can't go over it. This motor's got a lot of torque. I've tried stalling it at 3,000 RPM and I really have a hard time doing that. I can put a wood carving burr in here and at 5,000 RPM I can sink it through a block of oak and smoke it. It's a very smooth, powerful handpiece. A lot of people at trade shows don't even know it's on with the background noise as you could hear how quiet it is. It's a wonderful machine. And best of all, you'll never have to change a motor brush.